Have you been laid off from these massive tech job layoffs? If so, I'm so sorry that that happened, but I wanna offer up two suggestions that might be helpful for you in the interim. One is a job that you could probably start making money at right off the bat if you have certain skill sets that I'm gonna guess you do have. And then the second thing is just this overarching strategy. I call it the organic networking framework works wonders for basically never having to apply to a job ever again and land something that was far better than what you were just laid off of anyway. All right, so with that, let's hit it. My name is Meredith Noble. I'm the co-founder of Learn Grant Writing, where we help those that are looking for a career pivot get into grant writing, whether they want to land a new job or if they want to scale a $250,000 a year consulting business, we help you get there. That's my background. Hint, hint. Now you probably know the job I'm going to suggest. Have you considered grant writing? So what is it? Grant writing is when you're helping an organization that has a charitable purpose get funding money that they do not have to pay back. A loan, you would pay back. A grant, you don't. And it is used typically for charitable purposes. Any Thing from funding a park to a new wastewater treatment plant to a skate park to interesting irrigation innovation to a fire department getting new equipment. You wouldn't even believe the breadth and depth of grants. And what's cool about this is that you inherently have interests that align with organizations that need grant funding. And what underpins a successful grant writer is project management, which I'm almost positive you have that skill from your previous job. You have the skill to manage things, to manage teams, to run tasks, to execute, to see a vision and play it out, right? Like you've got that in you. Grant writing is just a simple skill that we can add into the skills that you already have. It's an incredible gig. What you can do in terms of how to start making money at this, this is the model I'm going to show you. It's the organic networking framework, and I'm going to describe it through this example. Step one, you're going to be doing informational interviews. An informational interview is when you meet with someone without the expectation of getting anything. You're going in with an open mind, a curious heart, and you're asking, oh, what are you struggling with? Where do you wish you had some extra capacity? Just drawing out with very specific questions that are quality. Do they have a need that you can solve for based on your specific zone of genius? In the example of grant writing, we would be asking questions like, do you know what grants are going to be going after over the next 12 to 18 months? Chances are they don't. They're just either having haphazardly chasing them or not doing it at all. So that then brings us to offering what I call a foot in the door deliverable. A deliverable that's not so expensive that they have to really think twice about saying yes to you because you don't have a huge portfolio or whatever, right? Or it doesn't require going to the board. Like it's a small enough purchase that they can authorize that and see the value clearly. In the grant writing example, that is a funding strategy. It is a memo that recommends of the 250 plus grants that we've researched, we've boiled those down to the top handful that you have the highest likelihood of winning and the best ROI on recommending you go after these grants in, in this order. That is critical thinking and research. No grant writing required. You have that skill. You can do this. You can put together a funding strategy. I'll show you how to do it, but you get the essence. So what will we charge for that? We charge anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 plus for a funding strategy. For you as a newbie without a lot of experience, I charge eight to 10 grand for those. Okay. So this is like not unreasonable for you to charge three grand to a nonprofit to help them figure out what grants to go after because if they go after one that they shouldn't have, it's already paid for itself. So that is our foot in the door deliverable. Now we go do that research. It takes about eight weeks. You can totally do it on very flexible, do it from anywhere, coffee shop, whatever. And then we are bringing that final deliverable back after a progress meeting, of course. And then you're discussing, all right, next steps. Do you want help to implement this funding strategy or do you have that capacity in house? Now, obviously the preferred path here is that they then amend your contract. You ask to and offer to amend your contract to help them then implement the funding strategy. And if funding strategy isn't your foot in the door deliverable, just sub that out for whatever your zone of expertise is. So like, what is that thing that you're really good at that you could offer as a low ticket purchase that can then get you in the door? They can see how much amazing work you do. You see how great you are to work with. And then that is what leads to the larger contract. So now that $3,000 funding strategy just turns into a $30,000 grant writing contract. Okay. And you only need to piece a couple of those together. And I'm going to guess you're already making the salary that you had at your previous job, or at least it's keeping you going and you're not burning into savings or debt. 
right? And what makes that a virtuous cycle is that it is a repeatable process that doesn't require you to be extroverted or very public about it, which is nice. You can go and have an interview with someone one-on-one. -on -one. It's just over coffee or Zoom. Anyone in any industry, you want to go talk to the CEO of another little startup you think's cool, go do it, right? You have nothing to lose. No one has to know this is something that you're doing. It can literally be your little side hustle. Okay. After that, you can decide, do you actually want to keep growing this thing and scaling this into your new full-time work for yourself gig? Or do you want to now you're going to interview so much better when a new job comes up that you're really excited about and you can point to what you've been accomplishing in the last X amount of months or whatever, right? Versus your competition that might've been like, I don't know, I've been on unemployment. Just wanted to introduce that concept to you. I call it the organic networking framework. It is a repeatable process that you can use to very organically and naturally find opportunities. And where this came from, the origination of it was from Charlie Hohen's Recession Proof Graduate Guide. The difference between Charlie and I is that he suggests that you go and have these interviews and then offer to do the work for free. And I say, screw that you got to get paid. But besides that, that is the model. How can you apply this if grant writing is maybe not the thing that you think you could be good at? You have some skills, you have services that can help small businesses. Literally, there's things that you probably don't think are that big of a deal that are a really big deal to some of the businesses or organizations within your community. And all you need is a couple of those contracts and bam, like you got some money in your pocket. I hope you find that helpful. I'm going to link a couple of resources in the description below, particularly how this methodology works if you're wanting to break into grant writing and start getting paid gigs within your first three months. See you later.